Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Fancy Football. Now before we get onto the game week 18, let's have a quick look at my results for game week 17. As you can see my final points were 51. Now it is above the average of 47, uh, it's just the fact that my captain didn't do anything again, he didn't assist, he didn't score, so but in another way um, having around or averaging around 40 or maybe even 50 points it's not bad when your captaincy actually failing to actually give you points. So let's have a quick look at my players and see how well they did. Okay, here we go. We got Pickford in goal giving me 8 points. Now he did give me an extra bonus. So it looks like he's been saving a lot of them shots to get him up to 7 with the bonus points 8. Uh, I'm quite glad that I got him in my team. Um, I know he doesn't get a lot of clean sheets and stuff like that. But I think with all the saves, he does get a few uh, decent uh, points. Um, and the fact that it is is very cheap. Now, Fuchs, can you believe it? Giving me four points after all this time. After all the zeros and zeros or ones. Give me four points, got an assist. Um, but as you can see, he's suspended as well. Oh, man. Man, what am I going to do with this guy? Walker giving me a lovely six points. Um, he's been consistent now. He's been uh, in the last game. He gave me some points as well. Um, so yeah, he's if he's not getting the clean sheets, he'll get me the assist. I'm really happy that I got him in my team for that week. And uh, as you can see, we've got Koscielny giving me another one point. Now it's been a long time since Arsenal kept the clean sheet. Wow. And you know, Koscielny has stopped scoring as well. He's the one who was actually saving my week. Um, but they, Arsenal does have a few um, home games coming up, so hopefully I can get some points from him. Because the fact that he's 6.4, I think he might be even 6.5 right now. You know, it's it's such a, a lot of money for a defender. So hopefully he can do something. If not, I might have to downgrade him and spread the money elsewhere. Hazard with three points. I'm not disappointed because I, you know, I'm quite happy that he came back. You know, he's not injured. Um, so that's that's all he matters because I know that he's got quite a few good um, fixtures coming up. Walcott, it's just surprising how I feel every time when I have Walcott in my team, I feel like I I don't want him in my team. I feel like I have to have Sanchez, but he's like trying to match Sanchez. He's scoring, and you know it's just incredible the fact that he's just scoring all the time now you know he's he's, he's scoring and he's assisting is is doing really well uh he's not getting injured um yeah i'm i'm really happy because he's very cheap for an arsenal to player zaha i wasn't even expecting too much from him because he had really difficult fixtures uh so yeah two points hopefully he doesn't go to the african nations if he does then i'll have to think of um changing him soon sigerson i wasn't really um, thinking that he's going to get any points from Middlesbrough, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things where if there's a free kick, if there's a if there's a corner, if there's a penalty, then he probably will get something out of it, but he didn't do it. Uh, you know, Swansea has been really terrible so far, but he does have two home games coming up. Origi playing against Everton. You know, Everton, is actually, they, they played okay. They, they, they was decent enough to hold up, hold off um, Liverpool. Um, I'm not really... I'm not really happy with Origi that much anyway. Even though he did give me a lovely 10 points last time out. But I I, I really want um, Lalana. It's ridiculous how much I want Lalana. I mean, I would have want Mane, but Mane's going to the African Nations as well. Now, Ibra giving me that consistent 10 points. And what a player. What a... How Man United is playing right now. It's, it's, it's really good. It's really good to see as well. Uh, all them draws that they had before, they turn them into wins. Um, they're playing really decent football, guys. You know, if you want to bring someone in, uh, think of a Man United player. And, of course, Kane failed me again. Two we two games. Oh, my God. He just, you know, I don't really want to talk about it. He flopped. If he had, if he, like, if I had this uh, on Ibra or something, or even Kane scoring a goal, then I would, it would have boosted me so much. Because I think these are the weeks where... Where everyone's getting the same points. These are the weeks where I can get an extra little bit more to get up to them rankings. But it did not work out. Now as well for my substitutes. And there's only one player that I made a mistake on. And that's Alan. I thought he was not going to score. And I thought he was not going to do anything. I was actually thinking of to get him, like getting rid of him. But 
he's doing okay. He got he got an assist on uh, in Arsenal's game, and then he got he got a goal in Leicester City. Um, I mean, I guess it's always good to have a good or, or an okay bench. Um, because you know, on the Christmas and the New Year's, there's going to be changes, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of these players that I got, they're going to keep, uh, they're going to be rested probably. So it's always good to have some kind of bench. I mean, I know I do have Amat, but he does have two home games coming up as well. All right, so this was my team for game week 17, 51 points, not too bad. I'm, I'm okay. I'm actually really, ha I'm, I'm happy with it. I'll say I'm happy with it. It's decent enough. But it could have been a little bit more better. I guess I always say that. But just missing out of that captaincy points does hurt a lot. Alright, so let's have a look at my team for game week 18. Here we go guys. This is my team for game week 18. Now I had two transfers and I used them. And I'll go through with you guys once I go through the goalkeepers. Um, as you can see, I got Foster in goal. Playing against Arsenal. Uh, not really the best choice in the world. Uh, I do have, oh, Pickford against Man United. So, a very difficult choice of picking a goalkeeper. Um, but I'm going to go with Foster because West Brom is decent enough. And, you know, their managers are very good at keeping clean sheets. Or just keeping a lot of goals out. Um, so, hopefully he can get some clean sheet. Now, for Arsenal and uh, West Brom, I'm just hoping that it's a, it's a new, new draw. That's all I'm hoping. Because I do have Koscielny playing as well. And, uh, of course, Walcock as well. But... Who knows, one of two players might be rested. But even getting three points is better than two. So, you know, I'll, I'll be happy with Arsenal drawing against um, West Brom. A nil-nil would be great. Now, this was the guy that I bought in. I needed a Chelsea defender. Now, I'm pretty sure, now that I brought him to my team, that Chelsea's going to concede a lot of goals. But, if you can, like, if you see the way he plays, he's a threat. Now, I know he has only got one goal. And he's got two assists. He can do so much more. He's ridiculous. He gets to them points. He gets to that, that dangerous areas all the freaking time. So I had to downgrade someone. Uh, I, I got rid of Walker. Walker's um, playing against um, Southampton. He is playing against Bournemouth. And then at home against Stoke. So pretty decent uh, fixtures. Tottenham did not have a good fixture there. And uh, yeah, since I downgraded... Um, you know, walk we'll into it. Well, it's not really a downgrade. It's just basically just switching to another player. And I got Jones in. I bet you're thinking, what the fuck? But who, who the hell wants Jones? But he's 4.9. He's 4.9 for Man United. Now, I know. I know, like, when Smalling comes back, Bailly is not going to come back. Well, he's injured. And he might go to African Nations. If it's, I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen with him. Um, He's... Definitely gonna play. He's been playing amazing for for Man United, you know, since he's. Hopefully, he doesn't get injured. But look, it's 4.9. This is the reason why I bought him. And look, his look his fixtures, right? Sunderland at home. Now I know Sunderland won their last game, but still, that's a good, that's a good indicator to get a clean sheet. And Middlesbrough, very good home fixtures for Man United. That is my risk. So hopefully, I got three home players there. Hopefully, I can get one of them clean sheet. Now Hazard, he was flagged. But it looks like he's ready to go. He might even be rested. Who knows what can happen with Hazard. But I think he has to play because Diogo Costa is not playing. And he's going to be the main guy to be able to score to get some points. He does have two home fixtures. Are very, very good for that. Walcott, uh, again, two home fixtures. Um, Crystal Palace and Bournemouth coming up as well. Very good uh, fixtures for him. Zaha is the only one I'm thinking, mm, not, he's not, I don't think he can do it, but I think Crystal Palace plays better away in a weird way because they counter-attack. And he's the main guy who's going to be countering. Now with the new manager, anything can happen. And pretty much, like, when the new manager comes along, they might even score a lot of goals. Who knows? Now Sigerson against West Ham. West Ham does leak a lot of goals. Uh, at home, they've been playing really well. Uh, lately, uh, who knows what can happen in this month, but I think Sigurdsson can get some kind of points out of the next three games that's coming up. Uh, Origi, I am not, I'm not really happy with Origi to be on my team. Uh, I just got to go along with it right now. He's got two home games, Stoke and Man City. Um, I'm, I really want Lalana here. Really want Lalana. Now, Ibra, he's going to be my captain. Now, I'm pretty sure. 
that he's not going to score anything, he's not going to get no points, and that's going to be disappointing. I'm going to be so angry. Uh, hopefully, he can get a goal, maybe like two, three penalties. I'll be happy with that. Two home games, has to be my captain. Kane, another guy that I'm a bit like, ugh, man, why, am I, why do I have this guy? Um, I'm thinking to get rid of him and get Diogo Costa back. And if Hazard's getting all these injuries and stuff like that, I might actually get rid of him and maybe get in a De Bruyne. So I'll be happy with getting uh, Diego Costa and here a De Bruyne because I think De Bruyne is the only good player for Man City right now. So yeah, um, this was my team. My um, substitute pick for the in, um, in my substitutes, Allen versus uh, Liverpool. I might actually do this because you know I might I might get a clean sheet at home. Uh, I'm just going to save that right now. So who knows what can happen with that. Um, so this is my team. Uh, Alonso is going to be my vice captain. Can you believe that? Oh my god. What am I doing? Um, so yeah. This is going to be my team. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. I'm really really happy with it. Hopefully I can get some good points with this. Uh, I do have a cup game as well with this guy here. A, uh, let's see his latest, uh, latest team. So he's def oh god okay he's got Heaton Heaton's got a good fixture he's got Rose Rope might might be injured and who knows Aspilicueta cool Gib uh, Uzi playing Burnley wow okay he might get something there he's got De Bruyne um, Zaha I got Zaha as well I got um, Hazard he's got Firmino and he's the double lopped on um, Liverpool players Firmino's not really scoring much but he might do something there Kapu uh, he has to get rid of this so he's still bringing another striker in. Um, so for my chances for my team I think my team might be a little bit better he does have two Liverpool players so hopefully Liverpool doesn't do well then I think I might be able to nick this one but we'll see what happens anyways guys whew, thanks for watching uh, I don't know how I'm going to do all these videos and uh, there's going to be a lot of um, uh, games coming up uh, yeah, I just wanted to extend this a little bit more for you guys to see. Uh, most of these players are going to be on my team for the next coming weeks, next coming days. Um, I might just switch and just drop one or two. I'm going to try not to uh, take any four-point hit. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you got any suggestions. Um, yeah, just give the video a like. Show your support by subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. That's in probably a couple of days. See ya.